proposed cantilever beam one meter long is to be built into a concrete wall as shown. It supports unfacted dead and imposed loadings of 400 kilonewton per meter and 350 kilonewton per meter respectively. We need to find a suitable universal beam section in S275 steel that will only satisfy bending and shear. So first, we will need to work out the design bending moment and shear force. Design shear force would be 1.35, multiplied by dead load 400 kN per meter, plus 1.5, multiplied by imposed load 350 kN per meter, multiplied by cantilever span 1 meter. This gives us a value of 1065 kN. Design bending moment would be the design shear force, 1065 kN, multiplied by 1 meter, divided by 2. This results in a value of 532.5 kN meter. Then, assuming the design strength of steel is 275 newtons per square millimeter, we should be able to estimate the initial section selection. The plastic modulus should be greater than the design bending moment, 532.5 kNm, multiplied by 10 to the power of 6, divided by 275. This correspondence is to 1936, times 10 to the power of 3 cubic millimeters, which is equivalent to 1936 cubic centimeters. Therefore, the suitable section with classification would be 533 by 210 by 82 UB, with plastic modulus 2060 cubic centimeters, and class 1. Next, we need to the check the shear strength capacity of the selected section, which equals shear area, multiplied by design strength of steel, divided by square root of 3. Bear in mind, shear area of steel section, equals the cross-sectional area, minus 2 the overall breadth, times flange thickness, plus web thickness, plus 2 of the root radius, multiplied by the flange thickness, which should be greater than the depth of the web, times flange thickness. Therefore, the shear area of a 533 by 210 by 82 UB section, is 5400 square millimeters and the shear strength capacity is 5400, times 275, divided by square root of 3. This gives 865 kN, which is less than the 1060 kN design shear force. As a result, the section is unacceptable. In this case, because the length of the cantilever is very short, the selection of section will be determined from the shear strength, which is more critical than bending. Let's try a new section, 610 by 229 by 113 UB, with plastic modulus 3290 cubic centimeters, yield strength 265, and class 1. If we work out the shear area of 610 by 229 by 113 UB section, we get 7137.5 square millimeters. As a result, the shear strength capacity would equal 7137.5 multiplied by 265 divided by square root of 3, which equals 1092 kilonewtons. It is acceptable, but the design shear of 1065 kilonewtons is greater than the half shear strength capacity. When the design shear load exceeds 50% of the design plastic shear resistance, the moment carrying capacity of the section is reduced. This is because the web cannot take the full tensile, or compression stresses associated with the bending moment as well as a substantial shear stress due to applied shear force. This should not be a problem with class 3, and 4 where the moment capacity equals design strength of steel, multiplied by elastic section modulus even when there is a high shear load, but not otherwise. The Eurocode recommends that where the design shear load exceeds 50% of the design plastic shear resistance, the bending resistance of cross-section should be calculated using a reduced yield strength, 1 minus rho, 
multiplied by the design strength of steel, for the shear area only. The shear area of rolled sections with equal flanges is taken as the plastic modulus of the shear area of the section, equal the web thickness, times the depth of the web squared, divided by 4. Hence, the reduced design plastic resistance moment about the major axis may be taken as shown. Where rho equals, 2 design shear, divided by shear capacity, minus 1, close bracket squared. Area web, equals the web thickness, times the depth of the web. So back to our example. Rho would be 2, times the design shear 1065 kilonewtons, divided by shear capacity 1092 kilonewtons, minus 1 squared. This results in a value of 0.9. Area web would be the web thickness 11.2 millimeters times the depth of the web 547.3. This gives us a value of 6,129.8 square millimeters. We input our values in this equation, we get the reduced design plastic resistance moment 671 kilonewton meter, which it should be equal or less than the moment capacity, which equals plastic modulus 3,290, times 10 to the power of 3, times 265 divided by 10 to the power of 6, giving us 871.9 kilonewton meter. The reduced design plastic resistance moment, 671 kilonewton meter must be greater than design moment. In our example the design moment equals 532.5 kilonewton meter, but this doesn't include the self-weight of steel beam, Therefore, the bending moment due to self-weight of the beam would be 113 kg per meter, times 9.81, divided by 1000, multiplied by 1, divided by 2, multiplied by 1.35, which equals 0.75 kilonewton meter. Hence, the total design moment equals 532.5, plus 0.75, which is 533.25, which is less than 671 kilonewton meter. Therefore, this section is satisfactory. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe, and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye and see you soon.